Today on Radical Toys, we're going to be taking a look at Masters of the WWE, The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. Alright, we've had this guy in the collection for quite some time. He is Wave 4, so we are going to go ahead and go back in time a little bit, and we're going to take a look at his package and go over his review and see exactly what's going on here. We've got our Merman sword today, and we're going to use that as our pointer. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and Dive right into this package, see if there's anything different, and see what's going on. So, of course, instead of the red lava burst going on here, we've got our blue lava burst. So, of course, we got all these nice blue rocks going on on each side. We've got a purple sky going on there. We've got our Masters of the WWE Universe logo going on there. And as we look on down, we can see the characters showcased within. We see the mini comic going on there, and you can even see these little skulls on the side because these are like the ring that you can buy, and they're like little lasers for the ropes. It's pretty cool. And of course, it looks like Castle Grayskull for the uh, mat. And of course, we see our ages 8 and up, our Mattel logo going on here, and of course, it says includes comic international release because it's the multiple languages, and you can see the mini comic going on in the back there. As we flip him on around here, we can see the art going on here at the top, just like we would expect in these lines, just like the Masters of the Universe Origins. And, of course, we see him himself going on there, our Fiend. And, of course, we see Macho Man. And I can't remember, Rey Mysterio, I think that guy is there in the corner, if I'm not mistaken. You guys can let me know if I'm wrong. And of course, this are, is our cross cells going on here in the background here. And of course, everybody that's in this wave. So we've got Seth Rollins there. We've got The Fiend himself. we got Mr. T and of course, Jake the Snake, which we had done reviews on these two characters already. And of course, we can see that he doesn't have action features. However, he's got some accessories that we can swap out here and you can move his neck and it even looks like you can move his jaw going on there so we're gonna have to check that on out so we look on down we just see our wwe once again and of course our bro code and just a bunch of mumbo jumbo legal crap so there you have it there is our package there we're gonna go ahead we're gonna take take them right on out of the package and just see what's going on here so i'll be right back guys here we are taking a look at the fiend wave four Pretty cool. Uh, first impressions, I actually really like it. I don't seem to mind his sculpt whatsoever. I do have a little bit of an issue with him, and we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll get to that here shortly. But we'll dive right into his sculpt there, and uh, we'll see what's going on and see whether or not you like what he looks like. So let's go ahead and dive right in here. We'll zoom on in here as usual. We'll start with the head, and of course he's got some funky hair going on there, and of course there is a wash going through. And it's kind of like a yellow and sort of like an off yellow going on there. And you can kind of see all the details going on. And at the top, check that out. He's even got that thing where they're mimicking triclop or not triclops, trap jaw. Uh, you know, with that little hook that he's got on his head that he would swing down on a rope. Well, he's got this, but it's instead of that, it's just a strain of hair that they sculpted. So that's pretty interesting little touch going on there. I like that. That's pretty cool. And, of course, we look down his face going on here. He's got a nice face mask going on here. Now, I want to say that this is probably sculpted in a white, but let's take off his head and find out, because I'm curious. So, yes, it is sculpted in a white plastic going on there. So, anything else that's on his face is painted. So, he's got painted eyeballs going on there and pupils. And, of course, their pupils are nice and red. And, yeah, mine are fairly straight. But even if they weren't, it's okay. Because the Fiend is kind of a little weird and wonky with uh, how his face paint and all everything goes anyway. So, it would be acceptable. Uh, and, of course, if we look down, we can see his teeth. Uh, and they're not, like, painted super straight or anything. But, again, uh, characters like him can kind of get away with this. Because he's kind of like a hideous, you know, everything's all over the place sort of thing anyway. So, that's fine. 
And yeah, so that is that. Um, I want to talk about this right away because if I don't, I'll forget. But he's got like a articulation joint in his jaw. And you can kind of see it's on hinge joint there. But I had to heat mine in hot water even to move it. Like I couldn't budge it whatsoever. So once I heated it up, I was able to move it. But it still wants to stay stiff. So I don't know what mine might be connected on but i have a hard time with it and as you can see mine's starting to slowly kind of raise on its own but i just kind of want to talk about that it's not really an action feature it's just an articulation point that he has in his head so i thought i'd kind of go over that right away you can see that he is done in a skin tone plastic going on there actually i want to say the chest is actually done in a black plastic because this is definitely painted as you can see inside it's black on one side, so you can tell that the skin tone here around this neck area is the paint. And there we have it. But it is very, very close to the actual skin tone. Like, it's fairly close. I mean, you'd probably have to look really, really close to notice that it's not the same color, but it's it's well done. And any anyway, like I said, he's got that standard He-Man buck going on there that you would see in the Origins. Because this is exactly what these parts are shared with is Masters of the Universe Origins. And same with the arms. And of course he's got hands that are sculpted just in black plastic going on there. And of course both hands on both sides are the exact same. They are just the holding the weapon type of pose. Weapon or hands that you get going on there. So they're pretty short. As we get going down to the waist area you can see that it is let me see here yep done in a black plastic as you can pull his waist off there you can see so the red stripes are being painted on they are nice and even they actually look pretty good i'm pretty impressed with that as we get down we can see that he's using the standard black boots going on there and you can see the sculpts going on in the laces you look at the bottom there you can see that he's got his number and of course he's got the peg holes for his feet that's pretty cool and that gives that so there is his sculpt and of course his back is the same idea it's the exact same that we would see from he-man or man at arms and there you have it let me see if i can stand him back up probably not this is the part that I always have trouble with, is standing these guys back up when I'm doing it on camera. When I'm not on camera, I can always stand these guys up, no problem. Well, maybe he'll stay, maybe he won't. But what I wanted to do, quickly, is just kind of go over the mini-comic. So here is our mini-comic going on there, and you can see that it has him, and I believe that's Triple H there in the corner, and Seth Rollins on the opposite side, with that cool flame sword that he has. And, of course, it shows the characters on the back. Now, this is international, so there's not going to be any chat bubbles. You're not going to be able to read this. And when you open it up, it's literally just one page. It's just the front cover and the back cover. So that's all there is. But you see the fiend going on there. We see Jake the Snake and somebody trying to be pretending to be uh, Prince Adam. But I don't know who that actually is supposed to be. But there you have it. There is our mini comic. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to check out some of these accessories here next why not and see what we have now he's got a few now a few of these um were on his person when you get them out of the package and we'll kind of go over those first so the first ones we'll go over are the black armbands they're just done in a black plastic going on there so you can see and they're fairly soft they're not very stretchy though like you can't really pull them apart or anything all that well but you will be able to take his arm and put them on. In his package, they were showcased on this arm, which is his right side. So I would assume that in wrestling, he probably wears this on his right. I'm only familiar with this character because of my trusty sidekick, Ryan. I had to learn who some of these characters were even though I was very interested in getting them because I like the uh, mashup of Masters of the Universe. So it's pretty cool. And, of course, the next piece that he would have had on his person inside the package is the piece that I like a lot, and that is his leather jacket. It's just so cool. You can see it's just done in a black plastic. It is, you know, it's 
it's not really stretchy, but you can, you know, inside out, whatever you want to do with it. It's very soft. Very, very soft. So you can go ahead and put that on them. And probably easier if you just pull the arms off. You can pull his arm off there to get the other side on. Plug that right back in, and there you have it. Now he's starting to really look cool. I like him with his coat there. Looks pretty good. Oh, wow. I actually got him to stand up. So next up, he's got a axe. Now, I like this because this is actually fairly thick. Um, it's a little thicker than I would say, you know, um, trap jaws accessories would be. And it even has a little hook on it, so it's kind of cool. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, geez, can I use these for trap jaw? Or can I use these for Roboto? And very sad news, you cannot, because the tip here is very thin. So I'll show you. We'll bring in our trap jaws gun going on there, and you can see the tips are completely two different sizes. I was extremely disappointed with this because these can even be hooked on to trap jaw, or these can be hooked on to him. And I'm just like, what a missed opportunity! Very, very bad. Very bad, Mattel. Why? Why would you do that? You could totally make these characters so that you can interchange these parts. That's what this line is supposed to be be about. So, you lose a point there. Anywho, getting back to the character, you can pull his hand off going on here. And you can plug this in. And there you have it. So you can And you can put it on either side, whatever side you wish you want to put it on. And next up, he has uh, like a spiked mace. So it's just done, same idea, done in a straight plate, uh, straight matte plastic going on there. It's black. It's got a little hook on it there. So, of course, these two weapons can be stored on his person, which I like. So if you look at the back going on here, you can see that there's two little hoops or holes going on here in his coat. You can kind of see them there. Hopefully the camera's kind of picking them up. I know it's hard because it's black. But if you get the right angle, you'll be able to see them. In any case, you can hook them on. You'll see it once I get them in there. Might take me a second to do this. Again, it'll probably be easier to get these on if I had the coat off. I might actually have to do that to get these on. We'll see. Oh, I got lucky with that one. There you have it. You can kind of hook it on there. And this is this might be how I uh, pose him. I might just pose him with these on his person and just have his hands because I kind of like that idea. Yeah, I'm going to have to take his coat off after to be able to get this one on because I just I can't seem to get it on. Um, the way the hook is on the axe itself. Maybe I can do it right now just to see here. Let's get this on. See if it makes it easier just so you guys can see this. Anybody that's curious about whether or not they want to get this character. See how there's like a little small little gap there. There's not much room to play with. You got to push that kind of up. And you're not going to be able to do that while it's on them. So there you go. I managed to get it on. A lot easier with the arms off of course. And then you can go ahead and put his arms back on. Snap them right back on there. Put his hand back in. See as you can tell here you can't. You can't fit Trap Jaw's weapon in there. You would probably have to, you know, if you really wanted it, you'd have to, you know, drill a bigger hole in, on, in his wrist hole there, unfortunately. So, again, once again, missed opportunity. Considering the fact that he is supposed to be mashed up with Trap Jaw, you think they would have done that. But, oh, well, it is what it is. Live and let learn. And so there you have it. So it looks pretty cool there. It might make him a little bit heavy, you know, in the midsection, but that's okay. We can You can still manage to stand him up and stuff. You just got to find that sweet spot. And that is it. And the only thing we really have left to do, of course, is the comparison. And since we were talking about Trap Jaw, why not bring in Trap Jaw so that we can kind of just see what's going on here. So we'll go ahead. We'll bring Trap Jaw in. There he is. I can move him over. 
And, oh, look at that. Managed to stand trap jaw up pretty easily. So there you have it, guys. There is a front view. We've got a side view. And, of course, we've got the back view. So there you have it. That's pretty cool. And why not just bring in one more? Since uh, we were talking briefly about Roboto, we'll bring in Roboto. So here is Roboto as well. So this kind of gives you an idea of what's going on. It's pretty cool. So there you have it, guys. There is our fiend, Bray Wyatt. Pretty cool there. And, yeah, so it's pretty cool. So that's it, guys. We're going to just do a final thought here. Final thoughts with this guy. I like him. Overall, I think he's great. I just, I, I don't know. I think he's a pretty good character for Wave 4. I just like how buffy he is. Like, he, he seems really buff. Especially when he's got that jacket going on there, and it just looks really good. Uh, my gripes about this guy, or the downside, I would have to say, is on mine at least, is the mouth. I have a very hard time with the joints. I don't know what it is with mine. I should be able to hinge that joint up and down. And of course, you know what? We didn't actually go over the articulation, so we can go ahead and do that. But you know what? Their standard is what you would see in Masters of the Universe anyway. So you can, you know, you can hinge it up and down. It's got the ball joint. So the wrist or the elbows can twist the hinge vertically or horizontally, I should say, on the wrist joints there. And of course, the waist is a swivel. Knee joints, exactly what you would expect. The hinge, boot, cub, boot, cub, boot cut swivel. And, of course, the ankle joints are on that rocker and hinge up and down. So, very, very, very the exact same as what you would see in any of the Masters of the Universe Origins characters. But, yeah, so final thoughts here. Getting back to where I originally was uh, talking about there. A uh, few gripes there is that mouth jaw. I'm not very impressed with mine with that. But... I don't know if that's everybody's or if that's just mine. I don't have this. This is one of the ones I do not have in doubles. And I'm having a very hard time getting his foot back to the way I originally had it. There we go. There we are. And yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Uh, my paint job and everything is great. So, oh yeah, and of course the biggest bummer is the uh, not being able to swap the weapons with Trapjaw or um, Roboto. Very bad missed opportunity going on there. Naughty, naughty, Mattel. No, 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 that's not good. Anyway, other than that, he's great. I would still pick him up if you can manage to find him. He's wave four, so he's been out. You know, I've, I got him last year. I got him over a year ago, so he's been out for quite some time. But if you're on the eBay hunt with him and you're really interested in picking him up, I, I would say he's worth it, but I wouldn't overpay for him. Uh, unless you're absolutely a hardcore person that must have all these figures in this line. or uh, then, then I'd say, you know, do what you wish. But anywho, that is it. And of course, if you're in the position to do so, you know, check out my Patreon. Maybe you might be interested if you if you like my content. But, of course, it's not necessary to join for it. But if you like to, it certainly would help the channel. In any case, guys, that is the end of today's review. Thanks for tuning in, and we're going to see you guys on the next one. So, have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.